hi guys so in this video i am going to be doing a very exciting video um this is a huge pretty huge like haul of juvia's place palettes um which is very exciting i did two orders at first i only bought two palettes um but the second time i ordered i bought three more palettes because there was a sale and i just couldn't like resist the temptation i follow juvia's place on instagram and they just kept posting so many pretty pictures and swatches and i was like okay to get it i have to get it um i did not get the warrior place palette because that was sold out when i ordered everything um but i shipped that straight to japan which cost like 17 18 17 81 or something like that it was 18 dollars shipping and it took about a week and a half to get here it took a week to a week and a half to ship and then two days to two to three days to actually arrive after shipping um but yeah so i have five palettes four eyeshadow palettes and one blush palette and i'm so excited right now um i'm not gonna lie this will not be a complete first impressions the two palettes that i got first were the ones that i got my very first purchase that i had shipped to america and sent to me i got those first it was the masquerade palette and the um saharan 2 palette i believe um i've already swatched them and did one or two eye look shadow look i did two sh eyeshadow looks that you can see in my instagram which i'll link down below um okay so i'll show you guys the palette first palettes first Okay, so I'll show you the first two palettes I got, my first purchase, and then the other three. So I got the Saharan by Juvia's palette. Oh, so this is the Saharan, not the Saharan 2, Saharan. And so it comes in a package like this with the ingredients. And the packaging is literally so beautiful. You guys can see it looks like this, Sahar the Saharan by Juvia's. Um, the back is just nice plain. It's very pretty and just like a nice smooth and then this is the top and then these are the shades these are beautiful are they not so i'll yeah i'm gonna insert swatches stay one more night don't you know that my love is true let's make things right i understand what you're going through stay one more night and i know that it's not too late let's make things right you just have to believe in faith Then, I got the masquerade palette. I got the large palette, the masquerade large. It is beautiful. Like, this is so pretty. The packaging is seriously beautiful. Like, these colors are so pretty. Like, oh my god. Like, I mean, so, of course, I will insert swatches for this palette as well. So now moving on to my last purchase I made, which came in a couple days ago. I got the, I did the, but they have a bundle thing, so I got the Zulu palette and the um, Saharan 2 palette and the Saharan palette plus $17 or $18 shipping off for just $50, so that's really cheap. So that means I got these two palettes for around $30 something. Okay, but. So this is the Zulu palette, um, this is the box, very, very pretty. The white is classic, I don't know how I feel about it, I'm just going to get really, really, really fast. So this is the classic. This is the top, very pretty.
I got the Saharan 2 palette. So, if you remember, this is the Saharan palette. So, this is the second version and it looks like this. The packaging looks like this. It's very pretty purple. It's the plastic. So, this is, oh, this is pretty. This does not have the, like, person, like, most of these palettes I've had. It's on the front, but this has the pattern, which is actually a very pretty pattern. And then these are the colors. This is actually very pretty, too. This is, um got what six shimmers and three mattes Then last but not least, I got the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette. Looks like this. Um, it's very beautiful. Like these are stunning colors. But I think maybe you can tell this is way too dark for me to be able to use the blush. Uh, maybe I could kind of pull off like super super lightly. Um, but I it's like all these colors are something I have to be very careful with because there's a there's a very dark for my skin tone. Um, but these are very pretty and then these two shades here are like highlighters but I think these highlighters are a little too dark for my for me. Okay, but that's all the palettes that I got. Which is super, super exciting. I'm like super happy right now because these are all beautiful palettes. So it's really good for my collection because I don't have a lot of super, super colorful palettes in my collection. But majority of my stuff is very um, neutral colors and whatnot. Next, I will do my eyes. I've already done my face makeup. Um, no contour, no bronzer, nothing on my cheeks. I've just done foundation, concealer, and... Um, powder and then my eyebrows that's it um so i will try and use this blush palette and i might see if i can try and make maybe one of these this shade or something um maybe three contour or something and then i'll use it for blush and maybe highlight and i'm gonna do my eyes as well so this video i might be looking crazy the whole entire time because i am baking okay so this is the Saharan palette. I really like the fact that there's a nice black in here because the other palettes, the one thing they're lacking is a very deep, deep, dark color. It's like deep enough if you want to do a super, super smoky look. Um, just because, I mean, the, these colors are fairly dark, but as you can see, these browns are not like super, super dark or anything. The Masquerade palette has five mattes, 11 shimmers. I'm going to go ahead and start with this color right here, which is called. Katsina. I think I'm gonna go ahead and since I've gotten the transition on mine, you'll see a very pretty transition shade. I'm gonna then take, um, I'm gonna go one shade darker, go to this one, which is from the Masquerade palette called Burkina. So it's looking like this so far. Here's like a deeper red. And I'm gonna put that. A little lower than where I had that brown. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the purple. I'm gonna go with a smaller brush. Nothing to detail work with. This is a profusion brush. No name, no like number or anything. It's just from profusion. I got it in a set again. I'm taking um, Zobo, which is the purple, the matte purple. And I'm gonna place that in my outer corner and I'm gonna bring that into the crease area. So that's the purple. That is so pretty. So now I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna take this brush. Um, I'm just gonna soften the edges just a bit. I'm liking this look already. Yay. I really love this purple. I love this eyeshadow like guys. 
it is so beautiful and it's like smooth like can you tell how it's like smooth that looks over my eye which is in part also because of this this is actually a really good primer guys this is a can make a multi multi-lasting eye base well this is a really 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 good and like smoothing um kind of primer that like really smooths out into any texture in your eyelids and like really good for like color and whatever too so i'm gonna just wait for this to dry though so i'm gonna be down a bit okay but i think i'm gonna take this color right here which is kia from the the um saharan palette i'm taking my finger i just like applying shimmer to my finger for the most part Pretty, like greenish color, very pretty. Um, but I want to be a little more bright, I think. A little more bright and like pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try. Let me try the what it looks like with the white and the. a very pretty shade. I'm gonna put that on top of the screen and see what it looks like next to you guys. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah, I might do this and then I'm gonna take a little bit of black and taking off the crease of it. So I'm gonna get our outer corner. It's not the most flattering color in my skin tone. Um, I think I'm more flat warmer color is better for me but I like it more so I'm gonna take the same brush and go into Chad which is the black in the Saharan palette I'm gonna lightly tap and build up right there in the outer very bottom outer corner but I'm gonna go ahead and swipe off this fake um looking at my face there doesn't seem to be too much fallout there might be a, just a tiny bit but not bad at all you can you I don't think it so it's like very very minimal to no follow okay guys so I have my lashes on and my eyeliner done um I did like a very very thin like um very slightly very like super slightly winged out liner and then I have my lashes on but but yeah so this is how I look so far I am going to do my brow bone next um which I will take I'm going to go ahead and take um this shade right here actually um, which is called Zoya and I'm gonna put that in my brow bone so I'm gonna take a finger and take a very very small amount and I'm gonna put that in the brow bone area okay so then I'm gonna do my bottom lash line so of course my bottom lash line I mean, don't go too crazy with it personally um, but I think I'm gonna take a bit of the from the Mascara palette I'm gonna take a little bit of that purple but first to do like sort of more of a gradient and stuff you know, I'm gonna try not to do that kind of stuff. I'm gonna start with um, wiping this brush off. This color right here, which I put very first in my transition shade, the very beginning, and I'm gonna kind of like bring that pretty far down. I'm gonna then take the same brush and then go a little more delicately. I will take this little like reddish brown, like orange red. This brush right here, so this is also from Urban Decay. So this is from the I got it in the set with the Vice palette. Um, Vice and Lotus palette. I'm gonna take the from the Masquerade. I'm gonna take this purple right here. I had it all over my um, crease and stuff. And I'm gonna, you know, you know, and then I'm gonna take a bit black that I have here left over and just kind of darken up the outer edge just a bit. Okay, so I have my mascara on my bottom lash line. Okay, so my brows are a little darker now. Um, I went over with my understanding of brow with a bit and I just put a little bit of um, black mascara over my brows so to find the hair and make it a little darker. Yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and start this palette the brush. Blush palette, this Harm blush palette, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm 
gonna try and maybe bron not bronze up, but like try to contour just a bit with this browner shade right here, which is Abby. It's a little more like a brown red, but I wanna try and go very softly. So I'm taking my Real Techniques um, sculpting brush and I'm gonna go <laughs> super, super lightly. Okay, it looks like that much color if you can see right there. Okay, and then I'm going, I, I tapped it off a bit. Oh, okay, pigmented, yeah. I, oh my gosh, that's, that's very pigmented. And I, you, you saw how little was on the brush. Okay, so yeah, so that's not, that's not bad, if you can see. Again, um, it's not that it's patchy, but it is that I have a scar there that's making it so much darker here than this here. So I'm trying to like add in a bit to kind of help that. But yeah, there's not much I can do. So now I'm going to take a AOA Studio um, High Def Brush in F2 and I'm going to use this to blush. Okay, so um, what color should I do? I feel like this would be very close to what I have with my eyes right now. Maybe I'll go with that. This orange is really pretty. I don't, I've never worn an orange blush. I don't know how it looks. This pink is very pretty. Um, pink is this my blush. I might, I might, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, I'll try. This is gonna be scary. This is really dark. Okay, so it looks like this so far. But this is good, really pretty flush to the skin. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm trying to blend that out. But yeah, that's that is pretty. Like I shook. That's like a really pretty color. Because I want to keep smiling. Yay! So pretty. The last thing I have to do is the highlighter. This highlighter, these two highlighters might be a bit dark but I'm gonna go for it and see how they go I'm gonna take my AOA Studio F13 brush it's a nice like little brush and I've been using this for highlighter packet I have a choice of Zara or Zila or Zara or Lila but I think I might I have I have to choose one I think I'll try a Zara because it's a little more golden and I just take a very I'm gonna take I'll show you guys how much Going into the, this palette, this is probably my most favorite palette out of all of these. All of these five palettes. Well, I haven't done anything with these. The Zulu and the Zara too. But say, out of everything, I love these. But this is like my favorite right now. I'm like shook. Because I can't, I go to work um, as preschool, I'm a teacher and so stuff. I can't go to work with like a nice smoky blue eye or red eyes or something. Because it's not like appropriate. I have to be more neutral, natural looking. But this is something I can wear every single day. And I'm like shook because this is beautiful. Like these colors, this blush is like, oh my god. Because it's just the way it make it's making my skin look right now in person. It's like it's just so smooth. And like it's a nice natural flush, but it's like smooth, and that's what I'm liking about it so much. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Like comment down below. I'm sorry this was such a long video, because when I'm telling this is gonna be super long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Share this video. Subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.